What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the FromTheArtNation.com Back at it again with another video And today we are talking about my experience with this insane pro hormone and SARM stack Which is for Andro, LGD4033 and YK11 Okay, so at first, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees or whatsoever. Don't listen to what I say, this is all my personal opinion on how I see things and what I would do to my body. Always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementations. Okay, so 4-Andro, LGD4033, and YK11. Now, there are a couple reasons actually why I started this cycle. I wanted to do things a little bit different. I wanted to have a test base um, and then add in some uh, other compounds, other SARMs. Uh, and see how that goes okay i didn't want to inject testosterone itself i wanted to see how for andro the pro hormone worked at first i started with lgd4033 i took it 10 milligrams uh, my body is used to lgd so at first my gains were good at five milligrams or right now i need 10 milligrams or i won't even notice the same effect okay so i took the lgd4033 started at 10 milligrams like i said after two weeks um, so the LGD was working, LGD works the same day, you know, you, you, you could feel the pumps uh, the same week and then two weeks after that I started to add in the 4-andro, uh, which is the testosterone base. 4-andro uh, converts to DHT, to testosterone in a two steps process. But anyway, you know, I took it two weeks after that, I took it at 200 milligrams because it was the first time um, I was taking any pro hormone or 4-andro or whatsoever. Uh, I split the dosage up like 100 in the morning, 100 later on the day. So yeah, two weeks after that, added in the 4-andro because I know that LGD would give you suppression at around week 8 and there's just no more gains after that. And I just wanted to expand my cycle of LGD to 12 weeks and see how that would go. So added in the 4-andro like I said, everything went good and especially when I added in the 4-andro, it was crazy how my strength just, just skyrocketed to the roof. I didn't really notice that was going to happen. I know LGD gave me a lot of strength, um, but it was the 4-andro for me this time, yeah, for sure. When I started to take the 4-andro, I also started to take YK11 every day, every other day, sometimes just take a week off and then just take it again. Uh, I took the YK11 the first week at five milligrams uh, pre-workout. Always took the YK11 pre-workout because it has a, sh a short half-life of probably six hours or something like that so it's not stable you know or you should dose it a couple of times a day to maintain uh, stable blood levels but I took the LGD which is a 24 hour half-life it kept me stable and I took the testosterone base the 4-andro so at some point I started to uh, add in the YK11 pre-workout like I said the first week five milligrams the second week I already bumped it up to 10 and then I really started noticing effects. The 10 milligrams really did what it should do, I believe. So I took a pre-workout and every time I went to the gym and I looked at myself in the mirror in my first set, I was like, damn, am I, is this a, the same dude? I mean, my shoulders, everything was veiny as hell, grainy and you know, I didn't even really know that YK11 could do this. And I knew it wasn't the 4-andro. I knew it wasn't the LGD. I mean, 4-andro is maybe really powerful at 300 milligrams maybe even 300 milligrams of 4-andro would be the same as 300 milligrams uh, testosterone every week but it wasn't just that so adding in the yk11 was extremely powerful especially on top of the test base and on top of the lgd4033 so um i had really great experiences i gained like uh eight and a half pounds this cycle really hard dry mass you know i even had some water retention but that was coming from the testosterone and the lgd not from the yk in my opinion this really made me experiment with yk11 and really feel what it does and this is not just some sarm guys trust me this is really classified as an anabolic steroid in my opinion because it's so extremely strong and just the dosage of 10 milligrams taken once a day just pre-workout like i said so don't do this at home, this is a really weird stack, you know, it's YK11, we got 4 Android and we got LGD, this is just maybe intermediate or advanced, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was my opinion, I really like this cycle, um, I, got, I even got some YK11 left and I will probably try to stack it with Rage Balloon and Winivar as well, just rotate it a little bit and then just see what happens. But at the end, I didn't really experience side effects because... Yeah, sure, I was suppressed, but I didn't notice it because I was on the testosterone base and uh, all the levels were stable. Now I'm just doing PCT, I'm using Black Ox or Rimestain, um, and I'm good. My body is getting up and running really quick. I, I don't really have 
extreme suppression or my body just you know SARMs tend to get back your natural testosterone production way way faster than other performance enhancing drugs and steroids but whatever okay that was it for today's video thanks a lot for watching again don't forget to subscribe go out to Instagram drop a follow there as well go out to from the art buy yourself some coaching programs merchandise and all other cool products coming soon in 2020 so like I said that was it thanks a lot for watching again it's that wiper from the yard and I'm out Thank you.